Hello there guys, and welcome back to the uh, next part of the stealth walkthrough. Let's just uh, speed through breaking these boards down. There we go. Uh, blink through there. Uh, grab some stuff. Need to go down and get the uh, health file from this cabinet. Coins and some food. There we go. Now, when you get to the top of these stairs, take a second because there's going to be two assassins up there. And we've got to wait for them to turn their back on us before we make our move. So just be patient. first one has its back to us, but the second one, there he is. Be really helpful if I had my sleep darts, eh? Okay. Nah, they're in a better position now, we just need to wait for them to actually look away from us. Okay, where's this guy? Blink behind this one and grab him. Choke him out while the other one's not looking. Pick him up so he doesn't make any noise and bring him down here so the other one turns around. You won't be able to see a dead body, or well, unconscious body. Uh, time to make a move on this one. There we go. And choke you out. Bring you back. And pick you by there. Uh, a few things in this room that we need to take. Some more health, and some coins. Uh, there's a note to doubt about the Brigmore Witches. And there should be some more coins up here as well. Now we need to take a little bit of a swim to the next area. There's a bone charm over there. Uh, let's go and see what that is. the uh, spitting things and the weepers down there. Yeah. We should be able to get on top of this lamppost and then make our way around. There we go. Find the sweet spot. Blink up. There it is. Spiritual pool. That's useful. That'll help us blink around a little bit more. So let's uh, take one of these other ones off and put that on. Should really do some uh, bone charm maintenance in a minute or two. Make sure I've got everything I need. And just sneak past this weeper. There was a health file on that uh, shelf there, but I missed it. Too preoccupied with getting around the enemies. Now, in this area, we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, platforming. And if you branded High Overseer Campbell, like I did, you'll uh, get to see him in all his uh, Weeper glory. A fitting end, I think. Okay, so you could stick a uh, whale oil tank in the uh, contraption down underneath where I'm standing, but let's just blank up. Make this a little bit quicker. There we go. That enhanced mana regeneration is really helping. Now, uh, what? 
bomb sham was that? Eh, reinforced builds. Not too good. I'm not going to be using any builds, really. Sleep darts don't really break. Okay, well, there should be some assassins here. Just let them finish their conversation and then we'll uh, go and grab our gear. And that's where we came from at the start of the mission. You can't get through the rail station without the key. This one is resourceful. You'll find a way. Uh, they're all blinking away. There we go. Yeah. We need to pick up a sword to break these boards down. If you haven't already, it'll be on the side by here. Just grab an empty tank, jump over, and fill it up. Once you've got that, you can stick it in this slot here, and it'll lower the bridge and move the chain across for you to go down into the actual area where your gear is. Some health over here, some coins, some whale oil. Okay, that's lowered. Use the chain and go down. Okay. Let's blink behind this woman here. Choke her out. Carry her along here. And put it by there. And uh, we can take the other one out without him noticing. And that's the two of those up here. And that should be it for this area, except for the high overseer down at the bottom where uh, weapons are. Some more oil. Pick that up on your way down. And here we are. Blink around the uh, I oversee a weeper. Well, when he's not looking, make sure to loot the uh, elixirs on the cabinet to the left. There he is. what happens we don't mess with the Empress okay we've got our stuff back Let me just uh, reset that and now we can make our way back up Blink onto the chain, make our way up. Check what's around. Now we're gonna have to take the long way around, and back down. If we had blink level two, we could just climb on the chain, go halfway down, and then just blink onto the ground, but. Alas, we are not as strong as we once were. Let's make our way over here using the roof. And a little bit of a weeper in this area by here. So we just blink onto this uh, column here. Make sure she's not looking. And then make our move. 
and we should get through that without being noticed. Now in this area there are a few different ways to get around this assassin but when I was playing this on the stream a few days ago I was having a problem where I was getting seen through a wall so I'm being a little bit more cautious than I usually would. There he is. He'll blink down in front of us. And then we'll have to take him out with a sleep dart. Okay, that guy's down. Blink up here. There uh, should be another two dropping down. There's one. Good night, sir. Make sure he's in a good position. There we go. That should stop him from falling and dying. Uh, get that one as well. There we go. Uh, Blick around here. Uh, there's the other one. Uh, looks like that guy's fallen down, but I don't think he's dead, so we'll just make our way around. Now the door that we're about to go through is locked and the assassin that was walking around over there has the key so take those two guys up top out of the equation and then we can just pickpocket that one. Get out of here and head to the actual mission where Dowd is. If you've missed any of the blueprints so far there should be some there for you to pick up. There should be one bone charm in this area. And then after that, we just need to take care of the uh, master assassin himself. Two dogs over here. I'm pretty sure you can kill animals in this game without accounting to uh, the clean hands trophy, but that's not chance it. As both the dog goes down, there's the bone charm. Scavenger isn't that good because we're not going to be picking up too much ammo. Usually buy our sleep darts from Piero. Griff, Griff is just exorbitantly expensive. Taking advantage of us. Piero is much better. Take this guy out. Dump him over here where no one can see him. Make our way inside. There we go. There's going to be two assassins there. Take a right. And let's just speed through that conversation. Yeah, he's like to talk for quite a while. Okay, and we'll return to normal speed. Sneak it behind this guy, knock him out. That way we can move through this area a little bit quicker. And then we'll knock out his, his friend out. There we go. Got you. That's what you get for having gate duty, my friend. There's some stuff in there that we can loot later after we have Dow's key. Uh, there's going to be two in this area, so blink up there, and blink over to that shelf there, wait for this assassin novice to make his way around a little bit more, and then we'll knock him out. Again, you could use slip darts, but... There we go, grab him. He's a little bit glitchy. Just be careful when you move up on him. Uh, we should be able to blink on top of the bookcase and get around behind this guy. Uh, 
Oh, it looks like he's uh, gonna make a move. Good for us. I guess he got tired of waiting for his student to finish. Uh, use the Alexa, grab that. Take the coins, and we'll head up and take out Dowd. Yep. There's another one there. Grab him. Just let him fall by that. There. There's another elixir there if you need it. Climb through this window up here on the left. What is it? And Dowd should be talking to his uh, in a circle. Blank out of that bookcase and blank outside through the door downstairs. Sleep dart that guy on top of there. Be careful because if he's too close to the edge he will fall off and he will die. Just wait here for a moment for the other guard to come. Spin, spin, spin. There he is. Now, if he sees us, we'll have to pull out a sleep dart and take him out from range. Oh. Yep. There we go. Now, with this part by here, you've got to be a little bit quick. When Doubt has his back turned and this guy is close to the door, just go in, grab him, and drag him out. And now all we have to do is take care of the man himself. Mighty swell the public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So Contemplating using the blink, but and so many contracts. I decide to risk it and go for the choke out. And there we go. Dowd's down, we got his key. Take a look around the area, loot everything we need, and head to the next section. Let's just speed this up. It's mostly me going back and picking stuff up. There we go. Sleep darts. And we go down here. You can use the chain. I'll just blank down. Fold this room around to the iron door and head into the sewers. Return to normal speed. There'll be a rune on the right side of this as soon as you exit that area. Be careful, there are some rats. Not very useful with bone charm, so we'll just make our way through here. Now, if you're quick enough, you should be able to get through this section before the train starts making its way back. And that is a huge deal because we're going to be using the train to get through this area unseen. Let's blink on top of this. Climb up here. Get to the highest point we can. And we made it. If you have blink level 2 you can just climb up the uh, building on the left side over there where the train was. But we've got to take a bit more of a scenic route. Blink there by that wheel tank. And drop it down. I'll turn the wall of light off and go straight through. And that was a whole section of the mission done in like 50 seconds or so. Alright, there's quite a few bone charms in this area. There's also some weepers, but we won't be dealing with any of those right now. Blood ox hard. Mm, yeah. I won't switch that out for anything. Okay. Be careful of those weepers, like I said. Open this uh, door up. 
and drop down. Now Granny Rags is in this area with Slackjaw, but because she only has a rune in her area, we can just skip straight past her. Took me a few minutes to realise that I could just go straight through this area before. I was expecting some weepers here, but then I remembered I'm on a little chaos. There are still some spitters to the left by there, though. There's a rune there if you need it. I spend a few seconds down here, getting a little bit lost. So let's just speed through this. Some stuff to pick up. There we go. Break those boards down and equip your grenade because there's three spitters straight in front of us. Time the grenade so this is going to explode when you throw it. Uh, there's another one there, so pull out a crossbow for that. Climb over here, and when it starts shooting at us and it's open, take it out. And there's two elixirs and a charm here, so if you Got ten elixirs on you already, just use one and pick another one up if you feel a little bit empty. Undertaker's okay. We're picking up bodies quite a bit, so that should help. I fell down there, but let's blink back up. Break these boards down. Jump over the hagfish. Go through here. Blank up. And that's it. Check we've got everything. And the mission's over. That's the flooded district. On to the next one.